Hey guys, I'm Ike here, and welcome to episode number 17 of Gamers Digest. You're the first aid, man. Unless you've been living under a rock, you know that Battlefield 3 came out yesterday. The game is great. It's a really fun game. Not too many bugs. There is a few bugs with the uh, the spawn system I've noticed. I haven't been able to spawn into vehicles very well. It's glitched out and I've spawned in the middle of nowhere. There's also been some rubber band lag. But I'm pretty sure that'll fix itself when there's not as many people playing. Because I'm sure the servers were just overloaded the first day. But nothing too major, it should all get fixed within the first week or the first patch or so. Be sure to click on the annotation if you're interested in more Battlefield 3 content. I will be making a ton of it. I think it's a great game and I'll be playing it a lot. Now on the other side of the fence we have Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 which comes out in a little bit less than two weeks from now. And whichever part of the argument you're on with the whole Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 versus Battlefield 3 argument, you gotta admit that having two really great games come out at the same time is pretty awesome. Competition is always good for the consumer and it should lead to a better game for both of us. In response to Battlefield 3 coming out, Activision released the new Modern Warfare 3 release trailer. It's pretty awesome. Check it out. At 6.22, attacks were triggered across Europe. Targets were key military and intelligence organizations. The symbols you have always looked to for strength are smoldering in Rome. This is what your greed has brought you. Hunting Makarov is like hunting a shadow. We need a shadow of our own. The life you knew before is gone. Today, we fight to bring it back. M for mature. Badass! As a lot of you guys know, BlizzCon was last weekend. I covered all the Missa Pandaria, uh, pretty much all the info to come out on Missa Pandaria I already covered, so I'm not going to go over that and this Gamers Digest, but I'll give you an annotation to the first video that should allow you to just click through all the videos via annotations to get to about anything you want to see. But for right now, we're going to be talking about a scandal going around the PvP community right now. Allegedly, Team Skillcapped cheated their way to BlizzCon. This is alleged, none of this has been proven true, but with that being said, there's been a lot of this going on. This wouldn't be the first time someone cheated their way to BlizzCon, definitely not going to be the last, but do keep in mind that this is all rumor. This could just be someone making a really elaborate, amazing lie. That could be another possibility, so don't take any of this too seriously. This whole thing started with a post on Arena Junkies from Hoodrich. I am unable to show the entire post because it's really, really long and it won't fit in the video screen. So I'll give you guys a link to that if you want to read the entire thing, but I'm going to try to summarize it as best as I can. Basically what happened is that Snuts, Toes, and Hoodrich were playing WLS and trying to qualify for BlizzCon. They were unable to do it because WLS wasn't really that good of a comp, Warriors got nerfed, and they were just having a problem doing it. So Snuts and Toes decided to ditch Hoodrich and get Pooks for a mage, a much better comp. Hoodrich didn't really like that, so he decided to give out their Battle.net emails and get their accounts hacked. Now, this is where things get interesting. Uh, now, he got their Tournament Realm accounts hacked after the date where you could create a tournament account. So, the guy, basically, if you get hacked on the tournament account, you're fucked. Because if they delete your character, then you can't create a new character. You can't create a new account because they were already past the termination date. You couldn't, that was past the time where you could buy a tournament account. So, what they did is Pooks called Haugen, which is a lead Blizzard developer, and Haugen made them a clone account, and put them on the team, and basically restored everything 100% to the way it was. Now, the reason why people are having such a problem with this is because if Pooks didn't have a personal friend at Blizzard, this wouldn't happen, which is completely true. They would have been completely fucked if Pooks didn't have Haugen as a contact. So that's where things get a little iffy. Is that fair? I don't know. I mean, it is shitty they got their accounts hacked. But is that fair? That's the real question. But it's not over. Apparently, they still needed a few wins to qualify, and they decided to win trade with Complexity Red to get the remaining points that they needed. And then they ended up winning one last game against EG because the healer DC'd or something. I'm not really 100% sure what happened there. 
But apparently they win traded for their last few points, which was... That's kind of shitty. I hope that's not true, but... Again, it's the arena tournament realm, and things are dirty. This wouldn't be the first time, not going to be the last. Unfortunately for Skill Cap, they were defeated by OMG, the Korean PHDK. Those guys played amazing the entire tournament. A ton of fun to watch, especially since they're playing PHDK. They were the only team to use a hunter in the tournament, so kudos to them. The BlizzCon Championship came down to the very last round. It was two rounds to two rounds. It was all decided on this last round, which was quite a nail-biter. Hope you guys enjoy. Gucci sitting at half health, actually, in that AMZ. You see Young up, top dog. Oh, Gucci this, eating a blanket sound. Pretty, pretty good, that blanket silence on damage. top of him. This is what I've been saying. They, the split damage will work for them if they can make it actually stick. Impact stun onto Gucci. Sleepy taking so much damage, and Gucci's got his work cut out for him right here. And now Snuts. There goes the Aura Mastery yet again, but Sleeping's kind of low. Snuts trying to lift through this deep freeze onto Gucci right now. Snuts doing all the damage he can. Ooh. Spikes down a little low, but Pook's now Spike taking Howl. a ton of damage. Oh, he catches Itty. There's the blanket silence. Sleeping's a target. Gucci's a target. You know, they're just trying to get the cooldowns out of this guy. And he is well, they are. There we go. Edge. Okay, right now, but Pook's has to lift through this. Yep. Pooks. Has he got 13 other hit points? Can they convert it onto Sleeping? Snuts on to a scatter. There's the portal, and they do not play it. Oh, wow. Good what an manage. exciting finals. South Korea, they are. Are. You are champions. We saw that coming. As Let's they need hear. to play it out as Toes is standing there. Yeah. Look at those players. Wow. Such a defeat <laughs> for the team of Skill Capped, but look at the elation out of the team of OMG. Came all the wow. way from Korea to compete at this tournament. We've seen it all, VL. All right. Wow. And that has got to be heartbreaking. Skill cap, so very close, but you can't really beat yourself up over a match like that. It was so close. And of course, Arena Junkies comes back with the most brutal pictures. And oh man, Arena Junkies is the most brutal website ever. I've had my fair share of this, but damn. You guys remember this? This is what you used to have before you bought the Star Wars The Old Republic Collector's Edition. If you don't have a Collector's Edition yet and you want to get one, I would recommend ordering it now because they are running out. Last time I checked, Best Buy still had them. GameStop might still have them, but your time is running out because a lot of people are going to pick this up. I already ordered mine. I pre-ordered mine the first day off Origin. I believe Origin is already sold out and they've been sold out for forever. And to entice you to get the Collector's Edition even more, BioWare made a video showing what all it comes with. This thing comes with a lot of stuff. And that'll wrap up this episode of Gamers Digest. As always, I'm going to be giving away a prize. This week's prize is any game of your choice from Steam or EA Origin. EA Origin is EA's version of Steam. You can get games like Battlefield 3 and Star Wars The Old Republic on it. All you have to do to have a chance to win any game of your choice from either of these two is thumbs up, favorite, and comment on this video. Also, be sure to join my Facebook page at facebook.com slash Gaming. And when you get to there, you should see a post with this video, and be sure to leave your YouTube channel name on Facebook, on the post. It should be the first thing you see when you get to the Facebook page, unless Facebook really fucks up. And that'll wrap up this episode of Gamers Digest. Hope you guys enjoyed, and good luck in the contest.